My specialization is high intensity training and that's really looking at getting your heart rate up. We know that that gives you a lot of benefits. The downside is it also hurts your body a lot. So we need to repair and recover as fast as possible. But when they get towards the end, it just goes up and they okay. don't plateau. I did my work at NASA Johnson Space Center before coming here and that was a focus on using nutrition and exercise to maintain muscle mass. And there are so many similarities between astronauts and aging. We have these young, healthy astronauts, but they lose so much muscle and bone. They can lose as much bone and muscle in a month as people over the age of 70 do in a year. What you're seeing here is a couple of our undergraduate students doing some research on how older people can adapt to aerobic training so we can get them stronger without having to lift weights. For our students, it's an opportunity to do research that has applications for aging, for spaceflight, for anyone with chronic diseases, and some sort of injury, those sorts of rehabilitation things that we see a lot. They get to apply a lot of what they've learned in class and see how it can really affect not just research, but what do we do with that research? How do we apply it in the real world? And I think that's something that not a lot of students get.